Hello again. Today I'm going to show you how to align a BGA and install it using our digital hot air system. Uh, this is the ST325. Uh, so first what we're going to do is create a border for the BGA to push up against using Kapton tape. So we have our Kapton tape dispenser here. And what we want to do to ensure there's something for the BGA to push up against during the reflow process is uh, I'm going to create a little bump in the tape. Um, so there's just more of a border there so it doesn't jump that. Obviously when you're hitting it with hot air sometimes the BGA can run away from you. It's just something I've been trying. that and then we'll create the top one okay so now you'll see that when we put our BGA there it has a little bit more than just the tape to push up against. It's pretty good there. All right, so let's uh, put some flux down and start the heating process. Should do it. So obviously with this, uh, we're actually using leaded solder, which is helpful because um, when you reflow the solder, it'll actually self-align itself onto the pads as long as you get it close enough. Um, this does not hold true with lead-free solder. Uh, you'll actually have to put that under an x-ray and confirm the alignment there. So uh, luckily we got the good stuff today. All right, so let's start our heating process and uh, maybe grab some tweezers to uh, keep that chip in place or sorry, the BGA. All right, it should only take a couple seconds. So that is definitely reflowed. It's aligning itself as we speak. Let it cool down for a little bit. Okay. Let's pull the tape off. Test it out. There you go. So uh, if you want to confirm the alignment, uh, you could put it under an x-ray. We actually have a video on our YouTube right now that shows me going through our XR3700, our x-ray machine. So if you'd like to see that, I'll leave a link in the bottom. Thanks.